Hi everyone, Sue's Journal Adventures here. Um, have you got a lot of these envelopes? So on the last video, I made um, a double envelope pocket thing out of a music page. So it got me thinking about my envelopes and um, how I can use them. Um, now in England, for some unknown reason towards English people, we have envelopes with the window on the left hand side, which is a bit of a bummer if you want to make a little booklet with a window because your window's on the back. So I know in other countries, the window's on the right, which is cool if you want to make a booklet. So what I generally do with my envelopes is take them and fold them inside out. And then lo and behold, my envelope, my window even, is on the right side. I've just cut this one, but then I realised sometimes when you've got a big envelope like this and the postman puts them through the door, they fold them in half to shove them through and it's got a huge crease. So, oopsie, I've just got another one out with my strategically placed stickers <laughs> so that you don't see the advertising. Um, so what I'm going to do is turn this inside out which I will do now. Da, 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 da. Um, at some point through the video, you might end up seeing it anyway. So, um, I prefer to use these big ones because I've just had a short one and put it away, haven't I? Because with the short ones, <clears throat> excuse me, I have made booklets out of these little fold up tag pockety doodads. But the problem with these ones, yes, you can fold it the other way, but when you fold it in half, you lose part of your window. It goes around the back, which I don't like. Yeah, you can just stick washi tape round and cover it up. You can mask it and stick some paper on the back or something. But I'm using a bigger one because I want a bigger one. So all I'm going to do with this is fold it in half. I've got a mucky window. What is going on? Um, right, this is a, a lot lighter. I kind of prefer this darker one, but we'll make do. You get all colours inside your envelopes. There's blue ones, there's grey, pale grey, dark grey. So I'm just going to fold this in half. Now, this is by no means a new concept. It's been done loads of times before. But I'm just going to, I just wanted to make something, basically, just to come on here and craft. I have been crafting already and I've been making something which I was going to come on and do. And it was the video of um, using up ugly papers. <laughs> do you have any ugly papers you don't like? But I can't do the video because at the moment, Without getting a load of stuff out, I can't find another ugly paper. So I'm just going with this. Right. So, <laughs> so at this point, nothing is fastened down. So at this point, <clears throat> excuse me, what you could do is come along with a, a piece of, no, a piece of card or paper, fancy paper, it could be floral, it could be striped, it could be anything. And if you don't want that white there, because I'm aiming to make this a pocket, so you could have something that slots in there. Obviously, it'd need to be wider. But I like something in the background so that when you pull your tag out, you're not just left with that white space. So... Initially, I thought, okay, that, that can be my background. That's nice. But then I kind of started thinking, oh, hang on a minute. I'm going to have to make a pretty wide card to go in there and long. Um, so maybe I might do this differently. Instead of putting a tag at the top and I was going to punch a notch there, I might do it where this, this actual piece pulls out of there at the side so therefore I'm going to glue that and round here and this is going to be my pocket from the side instead but I still need something for the background because I kind of want this to be my ticket any problem with it's got part of a car on the back 
I'm pretty sure we can cover that with some um, <sighs> coffee dyed paper, lined paper, whatever. So, what am I going to put in the background now that I've decided that that is going to be my focal point? Have I got any bits of paper around here? I've got that. Well, actually, that kind of goes because it's grey grey. It can just go because I'll tell you for why. I'm going to use washi tapes to decorate this. So what I'm going to use on here is purely washi tape, maybe some lace, bling, stickers, just anything. We've all got loads of stuff that we don't use very often. I think I'm going to set myself a few challenges over the next few weeks of using up stuff that I'm not mad keen on. Because if you're not mad keen on it, it just ends up sat there in your drawer, cupboard, box, whatever. Um, and it never gets used. And then I'm thinking, well, you know, why not use stuff? So on this one, um, I do have some black and white tape. Because this is grey, the background. It's like, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's like grey waves. Um, so I'm going to keep the grey, I might keep to the black and grey theme actually, apart from this card. But it's only just, it is, it's cream and black. It's just got a little pop of colour on it. I quite like that as a tag. So, oh, oh, I had a right tiny little tag top on here not long ago. But, you know, now that I actually want it, I can guarantee you I won't be able to find it. It's been on here for ages as well. Is it over here? can't find it typical do you know there's stuff on my desk and you can guarantee it's there for days weeks even sometimes but as soon as i want it it's disappeared so anyway let's get cracking so the first thing i'm gonna do is open this out so i want this background there how cool i just happen to have that on on my desk that is really cool. So I'm going to just not take it off because I'll probably end up sticking it in the wrong place. I'm just going to get my glue and I'm just going to go under the edges of it, or round the edges of it, should I say, so I don't have to actually move it. Oops, oh, that's going on there. So that can whoops, <laughs> stick down there. So I don't have to move it, you know. <laughs> First thing I do is move it. Oh, just let me get rid of that bobble. Don't want that on there. Okay. I thought it was still stuck to my finger then. Um, right, so this is just a very little project. Nothing amazing, nothing that hasn't been done before. In fact, I think I've even done one of these before, but made it in a different way. I think I made it with a, a tag. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. But we're just going to do it a bit different. So this is just purely my background to the window. All right. That, I think I've got a mucky window. With all the envelopes I could choose in the world, I could choose one with a mucky window. I need a window cleaner. Right. Okay, so that's that. So, obviously, you're going to glue the flap down because you don't want it open. You would just glue down there if you were having your tag thing going from the top. So, if you wanted it like that, but obviously with something wider, you would leave the opening at the top. Mine, however, is going to come from the side, so I'm going to glue along the top. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to glue slightly to where my um, thing is here, my piece of paper, 
don't have to get it all like glued down perfectly because I'm going to come in with washi tape and then I'm just going to glue here just to the edge of my fancy paper. Is any glue coming out of this thing? There we go. So I'm just going to glue that bit there and that bit up there. So hopefully if I haven't glued too much, I can still get my card in there. Cool. Right. So now I need to glue down the other side. So I'm just going to slap some glue on here. Now there's loads of things you can do with the inside of these. Um, obviously, as people will already know, you can, you could get loads of coffee dyed papers and book pages and all sorts of things and just um, sew, sew like a signature into the middle and have it as a little booklet with a pocket or you could put extra pockets in here you could just stick down some plain paper as writing space um, so there's lots of things you can do with the inside but for now I'm just going to concentrate <laughs> take my dressing gown off I keep going hot and cold at the minute I think I, I thought I were coming down with some the other day I had the most weird experience but anyway um, so yeah and I have just gone really warm. And no, I'm not having a hot flush. <laughs> Been there, seen it, done that. <laughs> um, so, I don't know whether to clip the corners. Should I clip the corners? Mm, should I, should I, should I? I always think clipped corners look nicer somehow. Um, and should I ink the corners? I'm terrible at clipping corners and inking stuff. And then sticking some over it. So you just think, well, you might as well not have clipped them corners and you might as well not have um, inked it. But, you know, you're allowed to change your mind, aren't you? So I just want to... Where's my scoring thing? I don't know. I've moved all my tools. Well, I've moved... Well, I haven't moved all. My desk's just an absolute mess at the moment. It is unbelievable. Right, so this is a little card that's going in there but it's a little problem child so i'm just gonna get um there we go got some coffee dyed stenciled index card i would like the writing part on there but i think i'm gonna opt for the pretty part actually because why not because we prefer pretty you know i like pretty so i'm just gonna get some glue out of this thing hopefully and make this just I've just been um I, I don't know why I didn't do it on camera but it would have been a, a short video and not really anything amazing but um I've just been backing packaging so you know all those when we get lovely stickers from Sheen and AliExpress and they come they come on these let me get them. Oh my goodness, where have they gone? <laughs> they come, <clears throat> excuse me, in the most beautiful packaging like this. This was a packet of stickers that look like collages. So they've got labels and stuff on like this. Um, and all I've done is added some writing space to the back and washi tape around the edge. Because these, I mean, who's going to throw that away, really? But on the back, it does have, you know, pictures of the little stickers and that that's in the packet. Now, as you can tell, I like these stickers because I've had three or four packets of them. Yes, I did like them very much. I also like these that come in the packet. Um, so, again, I've just put some writing space, some washi tape, and that's actually got one of the stickers on it. Um washi tape and some little um, thingy my doodles, what you call them, labels. That one, I didn't think I had any blue washi tape, but I managed to find this navy blue with pale blue flowers and just stuck a little thing on there. And then this one, again, I've just put, that is a tiny bit of journal space, but we've got the tickets on, but they're nice for journal cards. So, so pretty. I mean, these were just packaging at the, not the type of packaging I'd throw away because they are absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, I've just trimmed them all up. Um, 
with washi tape and these um i've lost my project oh it's over there and i also made that because <laughs> so this is a little envelope it did have a flap but i cut the flap off and then i stamped a rose on it and then i colored the rose in with my um beautiful pet metallic paints and i was going to stick that on the back and have it as another pocket with another tag in it so you've got a journal card but you've got a pocket with a tag which is a pretty good idea i thought but then when i would made that i thought yeah but that's going to be in the pocket nobody's going to see that unless they actually take the tag out and look at it so i'm just going to put that in my journal i think there's an awful lot going in my journal honestly <laughs> but look if I, wait, i've lost my thing Oh no, I've just lost my picture. Where is it? <laughs> I haven't put it, picked it up with these, have I? Do you know, this always happens to me. I should never have got these out. Never, never, never. I've literally, where's it gone? The little thing that I was just going to back. Where's it gone? <laughs> oh, don't do this to me on camera. Seriously, where did it go? If you saw the end of this desk, it is hideous. Where's that just gone? Oh gosh, I'm feeling like I might have to use something else in a minute because uh, some things disappeared. <laughs> it literally has. Did anybody see where that went? Is it? No. Oh my days that can only happen to me seriously okay well it's not stuck on the back of any of these is it oh where's it gone i wish you guys could tell me if you know where it's gone <laughs> so i just cut a piece to put Oh, it's there. I've already stuck it. Oh, my days. <gasps> That's when you know you're losing your marbles, isn't it? Oh, my. Yeah, what can I say? That is true, Sue. That is Sue. I am losing the plot. I didn't know I'd already stuck it. <laughs> oh, good grief. I bet you were all sat there, weren't you, going, it's on the back of your paper. <laughs> what a numpty. <laughs> Only me could do that. Well, I don't know. Maybe some other people would do it as well, but just let me get a little bit of glue under that corner. I couldn't believe that then, because I picked that up and I couldn't see the paper. I was like, well, where's it gone? I forgot I'd already stuck it to it. But that with this, this was making me think of them cards. So yeah, if you get stickers and that from AliExpress, I'm pretty sure I don't need to say this, but save your little packaging because it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is going to be my tag. And just like that went missing, I had a tab top on here. It's been on here for days just a little one um lurking about somewhere and now it's not lurking about anywhere which is absolutely typical typical to oh come on so you've got a whole big thing of tap tops just get another one out it was just perfect though because it was this kind of color oh. is it under here there's all sorts under here no, nope, it's not under that. Okay. Okay, just get the tab tops out because you really don't need to mess that much. Right, let's find oh that's a bit big, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that's that's a bit big, isn't it? Really. That's a bit huge. Um what is that? That's a tab top I made out of a book page. That is a tab top tob. I can't speak as well as I'm losing things that are actually lost. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's been one of them days. Um, this is actually a tab top, a whale taily kind of tab top that I made out of a punched circle. It was a fancy edge circle. I might use that actually. That's quite cute. 
um, but I might not. So have I got something? Mm, no, I want something just like I had on my desk, but it's disappeared. <laughs> and that's nice, but yeah, just a little bit too long. Um, there's some small ones in here somewhere. Let's find some small ones. In fact, one of these might be nice. These are weird though, because they're only half of one. You need some on the other side, so no, I don't want to cut one of them out. Sorry, I'm faffing about again, but I'm just trying to find one that's done and I don't have to mess with it, like these, maybe. Um, something, I just need something. I'm not too big. That's a weird one. Is that even a tap top? It probably would if you... Oh, I don't know, that's strange. Okay, these are blue. Well, that's blue. I don't suppose it really matters because you can use any colour you want, can't you, really? I just am not too keen on it, that's all. That side's okay. It's got a little bit of grey in it, so it might match with my um, thingy my jiggle envelope. Oh, just use that one. Deliberate way too much. Right, so, bit of glue. Bit of glue, Barley McGrew. Oh. Bit of glue on there. Can you even see me? I'm a bit kind of out of shot, aren't I? Okay, so, I'll just pop that where I want it on Oh, that's weird with that going like that. Oh, that's at least then the straight. Right, that's okay then. And that's straight. Fine. Super duper. Super de duper. Do I round the edges of this tag? Hmm. That looks like it's wonky because of the writing, but that's a postcard that's sat on top of something. So I think it's meant to look wonky. That's my excuse anyway. Um, do I? Oh, I can't now. Because <laughs> Well, I can round the bottoms. Can't I? I don't have to round the tops. Um, actually, right, let's ink it. Shut up and get on with what you're doing. Actually, ink, ink. Okay. Um, have we got weathered wood? Look at that, just the top of the pile. Way. Um, I don't have a weathered wood doodah. I'm going to use this new one. Okay, let's have some weathered wood, weathered wood on here for a change. Oh, I didn't think there were any on there. And there's actually loads on it. Yeah, we're going to go because we're doing grey. I'm going to go for grunging up in grey. So there we go. And the other side. Probably should have inked my tab before I put it on, but it kind of already looks inked. Doesn't look grey inked, but I suppose it's a bit weird having coffee stain stuff on the back when you're inking in grey, but it doesn't matter. The world is your oyster, it's your journal, you can do what you want to it. If you want bright pink with purple spots, it's up to you. It's your journal. Right, so I've got that. Now then, do I ink this? Or do I not? Do I just decorate it? I'm just going to decorate it. Have I got any more of that paper? Oh, wow, well, I've got that. Okay, so that's going to go in there, in that little pocket. If I can open that pocket, if I haven't um, glued it down. No, I haven't. Yay! Will it go in? Yes, it will. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that there's just that little pop of colour there. Right, let's get some out of here and stop waffling. Crack on with it. Right, so this window on the outside is quite thickish. So we need, firstly, I think, something to go around there. What? I hear you ask. I don't really know, but I quite like this. Um. And there's that newspaper one. So, like I say, I'm trying to keep it black and white. 
not that I have an awful lot of things in black, but, you know, black, white and grey, because this is grey. So do I do this one? Or do I do whatever this one is? Who knows? Oh, oh, Ray, we're not having none of that. Come off. If it's a bit funny, it's just breathe on it. <laughs> um, not quite like this one. This is weird. Mind you, it's got writing on it. And sometimes when you get writing on from AliExpress and Sheen, the translation is the weirdest thing you've ever read in your life. I think, no, I'm going to go with the other one because <laughs> decision making is not my strong point. Um, no, it's purely because um, it's going to be coming down the sides and that other one's directional. And this isn't really directional because it's got bits of newspaper going all over the place. So that's fine. So I'm just going to go up to the edge, slightly over the edge, because it's got rounded corners. So scissors and just chop it there. Chop that bit off there. Just there. Oopsie. And then chop the booklet and um pop that there for now. Um yeah, so I'm gonna keep it all black and white if I can. And maybe just a proper colour, maybe. I get that on there because I'm just mindful of the rounded corners on the window. I don't want you to still be able to see them. There we go. This one. Can you see me? Put the thing in shot, you know, my help. Right, let's just get this right on the edge of there at the top. The beauty about using... Um, what do you call it, glue stick, is you can have a bit of slide for a few minutes. There we go. Um, where's my little scissors? Because they're much better for this kind of thing. There we go. And this. Now I'm probably going to find that I should have done something else before this, but you know. That's the way it goes, isn't it? Um, probably not, though. I don't know whether to make this a booklet or whether to give it pockets inside. I've probably already been on half an hour just blooming, waffling about other stuff. Right. Oops. So that doesn't look that impressive at the moment, does it? So what we're going to do to make it look impressive... Um, I don't write my now. <coughs> I think I would like something, they see that's directional coming down. Um, this one's, this one's directional going across, so I could use a bit of this. And I do have the smallest, tiniest piece of black lace somewhere. I'm going to put some glue on this. Um, this might look weird. It might look okay, I don't really know. But for now, I'm just going to go with it. Um, and stick this on. Okay, I'm going to go slightly over that. And I'm just going to chop it there for now. And then I'm going to put another piece on. I know, this is weird, I know, I know. This is what we do. We just make stuff. Sometimes it comes out looking fabulous and amazing. And other times you think, oh my goodness, what have I done? <laughs> what did I do that for? Um, now this is a bit thick for the top. But I've got this one. Is that directional? It would be, wouldn't it? Is this? I don't even know what they are. Anyway, where's the end? I don't even think I've used these. I've used some of them. I don't think I've used these. I think this is directional as well. Oh, it is. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> you know what I'm like. I'll, I'll probably be really miffed that this is directional later on and end up getting really annoyed at it. But there we go. Let's 
just top that off. So now we've got a fully black and white front. I could just stick it round the backs and cover the back, couldn't I? I could. But I will because I've rounded the corners. See, told you. Told you I'd do something like that, didn't I? Whoops, that's not even straight. I can see the corner there. I'll get that in a minute. So, this could be a long project and it was really not meant to be a long project. I'm not going to decorate it all, I don't think. I'm just giving you an idea of making a little journal do a pocket to put in your journal pocket. <laughs> Or something like that. You know what I mean? It's just a little thing. Because sometimes we don't like a lot of bulk in our journals. And uh, smaller scissors, so smaller. There you go. That's way better. And go around your corner. don't even know where my corner is, but there you go. Um, sometimes you just want something to slip in a pocket or to um, <clears throat> position you a little bit better there. Um, just to maybe paper clipping that's nice and thin and doesn't take up loads of space. Oh my word, what we're going to do in there. Um, <clears throat> so, there you go. I do believe I have something on my desk that, that just might go in there, actually. I found this the other day. It's been folded, but... Yeah, that's well, okay. Might, might work. Right, so I've just got this little funny bit here at the moment, which I'll just sort out with this little funny bit here. So there we go. So yeah, this is just really decorating envelopes. I mean, you probably have loads of ideas on how you could um, do stuff with this. You could put pockets in it. You could put belly bands in and more tickets and stuff that is all getting on my nerves because it's on a pile but it's all like avalanching on me it's all stuff i've got out to put in my journal and <laughs> there's no way it's gonna fit right so that's the front pretty much done but it's sort of a bit could do with something else couldn't it really and this this definitely could do with something else inside right so i think i'm gonna go with washi tape again um i need quite a thickish one that's directional but we'll come down the sides just let me take my tag out of there um I'll get it there so i don't lose it <laughs> Because I'll be flapping in a minute going, where's my tag gone? <laughs> <coughs> so this is going to just go down the edge of here. Yeah, just cover up that white bit. I told you I shouldn't have done the corners, didn't I? Chop that. It doesn't matter if it's a bit awkward at the minute. Um, and then I'll get this bit just to come across there. There we go, and whoopsie, we'll pop that on. I'll sort the edges out in a bit. Yeah, I haven't used these before, I don't think. I've used a couple of them before. Things are just going in my way. Right, um, okay, so we definitely need some across there to cover that out. Probably put some up there. Should we put some of this paper down first? I don't know. No, no, because I'm going to ink the edges of it. So I want one that's directional across ways, like that one. That one that wants to. Yeah, I like that. So I'll go with this across the top. And then I always put extra glue on washi because it is only a very low tactic i hope this covers this white bit Ooh, only just only just right chop that off there and there because i don't want it going over my binoculars oh i'm slightly off a bit there aren't I? what's that what 
ya. I don't know how I've gone kind of wonky, but there you go. There we go, that's it. Um, <laughs> got bits of washi tape stuck all over the place. <laughs> okay, and a bit more over the... Oops, get your thumb on it, so... Um, pull. No, you don't want to play. Oh, really doesn't want to play, does it, this piece? But it doesn't have a choice, I'm afraid. I'll just get that straight, because if it's not straight, oh gosh, shaky hand. You could have, um, if you use a not really as um, patterned washi tape as I have used, you could actually fold it round the edges just to seal up all your edges and make sure they all look neat. Let me use the little scissors because it's way easier. Way easier than using them big chunky monkeys. Uh, right, so that's the inside covered. So what else are we going to do to this thing? Well, we need to round the corners again, don't we? I'll do that in a bit. Just need to get that off. And that. And that. There we go. Right. I don't think I'm going to do anything to the back. Because I might stick it down. Have it, excuse me, have it on a page where you just open it. If I decide I'm not going to stick it down, then I might decorate that and put a pocket on the back. But for now, I think I quite like this writing paper. Um, I just, it's been folded and it's not exactly folded where I want it to be folded. Um, but I might just get away with it, actually. So I'm going to get my pink in shoes. <gasps> If I can, and I'm just going to eyeball this, because you know me, I eyeball everything, and that's why everything goes wrong. Um, <laughs> not everything goes wrong, seriously. Right, I'm just going to make a little snip there. Actually, wait a minute, um, if I have a bit of a bigger border, I could, no, no, that line's too far down. Bummer. Okay. Who folded this piece of paper? Why did you fold it? Have you ever seen anything like it in your life? <laughs> Stay still. It's because of that crease. Right. I just want to cut it. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. I don't know where to go. I'm going to cut it there. Okay, and then it needs to come off by round about there. So there we go. Okay, she's coming in with the big guns. Straight line, she says, up to um, there. And then straight across that line there. Can you see me? Yeah. Can you see me making all my mistakes? Oh dear me. Right. And then that's not pinked, so that's going to need pinking in it. And that's flowers quite near the edge. Didn't, didn't think about this bit, did I? Well, I kind of did, but not fully. And that bit ain't pinked. So it's actually going to be a whole lot smaller than I said it was going to be. But that's fine. Right. So we've got that. And I quite like that. I'm just going to do the weathered wood. I wish that one creased, but never mind. It will ho hopefully, what's gone on there? It will hopefully sort itself out when it's um, stuck down. I don't know what that was in there, do I? <coughs> Rub it over them peaks. 
and same again now what i could have done with doing really maybe is measuring the other piece against this one which might be a good idea might be a good idea might it mm. so let's just mark it so it's kind of the same so i need to come off where's my pencil gone there and is it better Um, there, I guess, because it was on the line. So I'm just going to cut along there again. Try and cut it straight. Perhaps I'll just cut right across there. And then that's another piece ready for whatever. Um, I've just cut my line off, haven't I? No, I haven't. <laughs> it kind of wouldn't surprise me if I had, to be honest. Uh, so up here and just go like that put that over there because I can still use that oh this is even shorter than that one but never mind it doesn't really matter if you're one of these people that likes everything absolutely perfect the best thing to have done would have been to cut them both together at the same time and then you would have ha had identical pieces of paper but me not really thinking about that. It's just, yeah, cut it. But it's not going to look the same on either side. And it's really not going to look the same. So do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take a bit off the top of it. That's what I'm going to do. That's weird, isn't it? Why is, why is that one? The lines are different. Well, anyway, I'm just going to go like that. I should have just cut it off at the crease, really, shouldn't I? And not bothered. Because now I've got a silly little crease and it's a bit annoying. Okay. What I could have actually done... Oh, gosh, yeah, the crease is picking up the ink. What I could have actually done... <laughs> Comedy of errors! Um is I could have actually just um, stuck washi tape around the edge. That would have been fun, wouldn't it? And, and easier than faffing. If you watch my videos, you'd actually think I like faffing. It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> I do kind of like to just get on with it and not take forever but I always seem to end up taking forever I always end up talking about other stuff so it's like why did I cut it on the crease right I'm just going to glue these down and then I'm going to do a tiny fabric text disappeared oops I'll put the lid on that and <laughs> I need to put all these washi tapes away. Right, so I'm just going to get glue on this. And I'm going to have to go right up to the edge because I've now got a wonky little crease there, haven't I? And I would have normally, if this were just plain writing paper, I would normally have just stamped a little image in the corner. But this already has a little image, so that's cool, which is why I've used it. And the image just happened to be grey, so that's cool. There we go, so that can just stick down like that. Never known projects take anybody as long as it takes me sometimes. Don't really need to take me this long. Right. Just go around here, get some glue on here. Right here, and then right up to this weird edge here. Oops, maybe not on your project though. Oh, someone's just joined me a glue bog. Get off. I don't want any lumps in here. <laughs> right, we could have actually made these pockets if we'd have wanted. If they weren't paper, I mean the papers so don't make a very good pocket, but they could have been pockets. You could have left one side open and tucked things behind it. There we go. That's not that bad, is it? Okay, now I have got some black lace somewhere. 
really don't know where it is but i'm just going to have a very quick look in this box because this is where i think it is oh oh it is it's there it's a bit thick might be too thick okay let me just have a look what so this i think inside here is kind of okay i don't mind what's going on in here just get rid of them for a second out of my way um oh sorry everybody right so i like that i really do like that and it's nice and slim it's not going to be too bulky in your journal but i do feel like i just need some some of these pretties maybe maybe just a little just a little thingy oops upside down maybe just a little thingy here and there the only smaller ones oh oh that's nice smaller the road to where the road i like that and we've got beautiful beautiful what lime plants see what i mean about chinese i know i really know what that means okay we could have that what do we think do we think that's cool should we have a good Day for you mushroom in the forest. I don't know. Um, and these are the only black ones. Oh, there's grey ones as well. Oh, they're cool. They are so cool. Oh, oh, I like them. I like them. They don't show up as much. Let's go for black. Um, that was a quick decision because I really need to make a quick decision. I'm already on 40 minutes. I don't, I just, I need to learn to stop waffling. Right, I'm going to stick that kind of halfway off. And I'm going to stick this one the same, if I can get the backing off it. Come on. Came off easy before. Come on. There we go. I should pop that there. Okay, so this is a boring old envelope. It's not quite so boring now, I don't think. I think it's getting quite pretty, actually. I actually really quite like that. So, yeah, you could have put pages in it. You could have put pockets in it. You could have done whatever, whatever, whatever. We've got this, which has got just a little pop of colour, which is nice, which might make me add a little pop of colour to the front, like maybe a flower. Maybe not though. Um, and I've got a bit of lace. Do I want a bit of lace on it? It's way too thick, isn't it? I could cut it off and have just that bit. Hmm. Doesn't actually need it, does it? You could just have a piece of it with a flower, a white flower, maybe. Or you could have a bit of that on. Um, I'm actually thinking I don't want any of it on, to be quite honest. I think I just might have a few of these little stickers because I quite like them. Um, so what else have we got in here? Lovely rabbit. <laughs> they are really random, aren't they? Seriously. <laughs> I love these with the gold on. 18th of November 2002 do you know I might just stick that on and call it a day because that is quite pretty I oh. <laughs> I've just found something else I like look at that oh that's fantastic where does that go does that live there in the middle or does it live there or does it live I think it lives there I don't know about this one on its own down here there should we put a bit of lace behind it no should we put a bit of that lace behind it no <laughs> should we just stick it down yes get on with it so okay i will just stick it these stickers are really cool i like them i think i've got these in three colors now i think i got some blue ones but they weren't like this they didn't have the gold on them they were more like washi stickers um and i got some in 
brown somewhere on this desk. There is a brown pack. Oh, there it is. These are them. They were from... I want to say AliExpress. But I think they were actually from Sheen. Because Sheen, you don't always get to choose the colours. But they did have them individually one day. They just had the black pack, so I ordered the black pack. And then another day I looked and they had the brown, so I thought I'll order the brown. Because normally you can't choose on Sheen. So yeah, they're from Sheen. Um, I'm really squashing that. That is so fantastic. I love these stickers. That is so very pretty. And there we go. We're done, finally. After much deliberation, after much faffing and foofing about, we've actually done. I'll put my lace away, back in there, shove that over there, take care of my papers with me. And um, that's it. We are done, guys. We are done. Ouch. <laughs> I've just looked, knocked a load of die cuts off of the... Oh, actually, do you know what? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, if I can pick them up, I'm dropping them all over the place, all over the floor. Sorry, just excuse me for one second whilst I pick all my rubbish up off the floor. But I've now just dropped all these all over. Um, I don't know if this is going to make any difference, but... <gasps> Oh, I like that. Huh, can you see that on the screen? Mm, it doesn't really show up that much, does it, to you? It looks quite cool to me. Would it look cooler if I inked it grey? I don't know. Or would it look cooler if I had something that showed up a bit more like, I don't know, one of them that's, no, maybe, because it's black, white and grey, maybe one of them. Does that show up? Does that look good? I don't know. What do you think? I could put two of them on there. I could put 50 million of them on there. I could put them all over. Um, <laughs> I've just posed myself another dilemma now, haven't I? Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I don't know if I should just put one there. But you can't really see it. Or there. No. Um, could have that, ink the edges grey and put a nice grey stone in the middle. Yep, okay, that's what I'm going to do. That was a quick decision, if ever I made one. Oh, ink the edges. Ink the whole entire flower, so. Well, I'm trying to get down the sides. It's a bit hard with this big sponge. Right, okay actually bind if it goes on a little bit to be honest that's quite cool and um, we might just <laughs> i remember last time i did this on a video i actually just ripped the petal off right <laughs> uh, is this even going to show does it show up yeah it's all right isn't it sorry right. just stick it on just stick it on lass i i sometimes see things with die cuts on i think oh that looks so pretty and then I always forget to get mine out. So we've got that. And I just happen to have some bling on my desk, which has silver sparkles. Yeah. So, oh, this has got gold on. Don't matter. Don't matter. Doesn't matter. It's black, grey and silver and white and gold. <laughs> just a bit, Sue. So we're only putting a gem on, not blooming. Oh. Not that big, not that much. I would prefer to stick to my finger, but there you go. There we go. We're done. We're done. We're finished. Way. I could actually just sprinkle a little bit of glitter around there on that glue, but I'm not going to do that right now because then I'd have glitter all over, and you guys need to go because you know we've done. We've done. So there you go. That's a very thin piece of ephemera that will very easily fit in your journal. And can you imagine the amount of colours and styles you can make these in? And it's just your old envelopes. Could you believe that's just an old envelope? It's fab. It's fab. I love it. 
so if you've got washi tapes papers fabric you can cover them in what you want in fact you can make a whole little mini journal out of an envelope the back i might decorate later on but for now i'm going to pop a bit of glue a bit of glue a bit of glitter where that glue's seeped um but yeah i'm going to go off camera now so thank you for watching again i hope you've enjoyed that little big project um and there's more coming soon thank you for watching see you soon bye